Hello, in this video I will show you how to enable the autosave in Blender and how to use it. Autosave is a very important feature because crashes happen from time to time and it's better to have, let's say, a plan B for backing up your project that you are working on. So to enable the autosave feature, you must go to the Edit menu, Preferences, Save and Load. Here you have the autosave menu. You must check the autosave temporary files because the autosave files will be saved in a temporary location so they will be automatically deleted after a certain amount of time. Then you must set the timer. The timer basically means the time to wait between automatic saves. I set it to 3 minutes by default, I think it's 10 or 5, I don't remember. But uh, you can set it to a low value because Blender has a very good autosave uh, feature that doesn't slow down your uh, work. In fact, uh, I always forget that I have it enabled. And that's the only thing that uh, you need to do. After that, let's say that uh, Blender just crashed and you want to recover your work. You go to a file menu, recover. You have a last session. Basically, will recover the last session that you closed, but that's not what you want. You want the autosave. You click on this. It will open up in the temporary location. You can uh, order the list based on the date and then you simply load up the latest autosave by selecting it and recover autosave like for example this and that's basically it i hope you enjoyed this video if that's the case leave a like subscribe to stay up to date with the latest content if you have any question comment below and I'll see you in the next one. Eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night. I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use. Cause you can't stop it from shining through. It's true, baby, let the light.